A customer saw a real test video about the 2 watts power amplifier 27 kilometers long range wireless video transmitter and receiver. He placed an order for these equipments. He hoped we would also bring the transmitter to the top of the mountain and the receiver to the seaside for testing before shipment. We have done our best to meet the needs of the customers. So we did it and created today's video. If you want to learn about the actual transmission effect of long-range HD 1080p wireless video transmission, as well as how to operate it, please keep watching. Let's begin by looking at the test location and distance in Google Earth. Search my Shijian, which is located on Shenzhen's third highest peak, for no obstructions and simulate the situation of an aircraft with a transmitter in the air, ensuring that the test is within the line of sight. There are many high-rise buildings in a coastal city like Shenzhen. Finding a test environment with a line of sight and a distance of 30 kilometers is difficult. A T-shape is formed from here to the seaside of Nanao. Our receiving station is on the beach, and we can see the top of the transmitter from a distance of 27 kilometers. We used the good distance tool to determine that the distance between the transmitter and the receiver is nearly 27 kilometers. In the following video, we can see from the receiver's web UI page that the current transmitter to receiver distance is 27,390 meters. Now let's take a look at the situation of the transmitter on the mountain. The transmitter, IP network camera, and battery are placed on the rock. The trekking pole and red bubble belt make a red flag, which is fluttering in the wind so that the picture on the receiver screen is not static, it can be observed whether the wireless transmission video is smooth. The receiver is on the other side of the sea. The black transmitter is connected to two 30 cm height transmitting antennas, the left part is the IP network camera, which is connected to the transmitter with a network cable, and the right part is a 12V battery, which powers the transmitter and the IP network camera. Please try to position the transmitter and receiver vertically while transmitting. The signal strength will then be strong. Allow me to turn the transmitter and receiver in my hand, and the receiver monitor video will begin to move. The receiver will determine whether or not the video is smooth. Now let's take a look at the picture of the receiver. The receiver is connected to the computer through the network cable. We can use the RTSP player on the computer and see the smooth picture directly. We can also enter 192.168.8.11 in the browser to open the setting page of the receiver. On this parameter setting page, we can see various parameters of the current transmitter and receiver. An important parameter in this table is the distance and the signal strength. Now we can see that from the current transmitter to the receiver distance is 27,390 meters. In the computer's RTSP player, we can see that the wireless video transmission picture from the mountain transmitter has been kept very smooth, and the little red flag and the grass are fluttering in the wind without any lag, frozen, mosaic. We are using an IP network camera to test if your camera has HDMI 1080p, 4K HD, SDI, AHD, or CVBS output. We also can add an encoder to the transmitter, connect your video output, and send out the IP living streaming to the transmitter. AT the receiver, output the video to a computer through a network cable or to a network video recorder. It can be seen that the picture is very smooth. 
Here we continue to play the videos recorded by the transmitter and receiver on the computer, and we can also answer some questions that some clients care about and always asked. First, this set of wireless video data transmission transmitters and receivers is a two-way full duplex transmission system. It is like setting up an invisible wireless network in the air. Two computers can be connected, and ping can be used in the computer's CMD command state. In addition to transmitting video, data and audio can also be transmitted. Second, if you want to support longer distances, we can achieve longer distances by changing different amplifiers. For example, 300 milliwatts, 2 watts, 5 watts, 10 watts power amplifier, the corresponding transmission distance is 7 kilometers, 15 kilometers, 30 kilometers, 80 kilometers, 100 kilometers, the farthest can be transmitted to 150 kilometers, we also have a 110 kilometers, the actual test video. If you are interested, I can also edit it and upload it for everyone to watch. Third, what is the concept of supporting up to 150 kilometers? It is equivalent to 93 miles. The UK is separated from Europe by the English Channel, and its width is only 35 kilometers. That is, 150 kilometers is equivalent to the width of four times English channels. It can also transmit high-definition videos with good signals. Fourth, if you need to control the PTZ camera, and the receiver can also send control commands to adjust the direction and movement of the camera. This set of wireless video data transmission transmitters and receivers also has three RS-232 data interfaces, which can transmit various commands and data, and even connect with the drone's flight control to remotely operate the drone. Fifth, this wireless video transmission device also supports AES-128 for video encryption and decryption, so you don't have to worry about your video, not safety, or being intercepted by others. Sixth, today we use 2 watts power amplifier. If your project demand, you can also purchase the two-way wireless video data audio transmission transmitter and receiver module, and then configure your own power amplifier. Question 1. What battery should I prepare for this 2 watts, 5 watts, 10 watts power amplifier transceiver? Answer. 2 watts needs a 12V power supply, 5 watts needs a 24V power supply, 10 watts needs a 28V power supply. Question 2. Regarding the video transmitter, what are the frequencies available? Answer. There are three frequencies to choose from 800 MHz, 1.2G, and 2.4G. But there is no 10W power amplifier for 150 kilometers at 2.4 gigahertz. So if the buyer wants to support a 150 kilometers transmission distance, only 800 megahertz and 1.2G can be chosen. Question 3. Can you take a test video for me to see before shipping? Answer. Of course, we also understand that wireless video transmission transmitters and receivers are very expensive. You are far away from the China factory and hope that the goods you receive are fit for the best performance. If you pay special attention to a specific parameter or function, we can take some test videos based on the features you want to see. Please feel free to contact us. It won't be shipped to you directly without your approval. Just like today, I tested and show the video to my client. Question 4. Can I use one 3-meter RF cable from the transmitter to the antenna? Answer. Regarding the RF cable, our engineer doesn't recommend that you use so long. There will be a reduced 0.5 dB for 1 meter RF cable. For 3 meter RF cable, the signal strength will be reduced by 1.5 dB. Question 5. It seems that your transmitter is supporting an IP camera, but my video source camera is HDMI or SDI video output. How can I use this transmitter and receiver? Answer, yes, the default video input is IPRJ45 Ethernet pot. If your camera is HDMI or SDI or HD, just plus one small encoder box to solve this problem. This encoder box will output IP living stream to the transmitter. Question 6. What types of video inputs port does your wireless video transmitter have? Answer, our wireless video transmitters have these types of video input interfaces, HDMI 1080p and 4K HDMI, CBBS Composite, SDI, HD, IP Ethernet, and BNC, or tell us what type you need, and our engineer will modify it to meet your demand. Question 7, what is the transmission distance supported by your wireless video transmitter? 
Answer, our transmission distance can be adjusted by adding power amplifiers. At present, the main ones are 15 kilometers, 30 kilometers, 50 kilometers, 80 kilometers, 100 kilometers, and 150 kilometers, which depend on the needs of customers. Of course, the transmission distances listed above are all within LOS, the line of sight range. If there are obstacles between the transmitter and the receiver, NLOS, the non-line of sight, the transmission distance is greatly reduced, only 1 km or 2 km, depending on the number of intermediate obstacles and the local wireless environment. Question 8. What is one-way or two-way? Simples versus half-duplex, full-duplex. Answer. One-way means, we can only transmit and download video or data from the wireless video transmitter to the receiver in one direction and we cannot upload video or data from the receiver to the transmitter. This type is also called simplex. Two-way means that not only we can download video or data from our wireless transmitter to the receiver, but also we can upload the video or data from the receiver to the transmitter. This is very suitable for operating drones. You can not only see the real-time video transmitted from the drone but also upload the command to control the drone or the command to control the PTZ camera to adjust the angle to the transmitter. This can operate simultaneously. This type is also named half-duplex or full-duplex. Question 9. Does your HDMI video transmitter support encryption and receiver decryption? Answer, most wireless video transmitters now support AES-128 or AES-256-bit encryption and decryption, depending on which model you choose. Please contact us to verify. Question 10, can the frequency of the wireless video transmitter be modified after ordinary users receive the goods? Answer, the frequencies of both the wireless video transmitter and the wireless video receiver can be modified. Users need to purchase additional parameter configuration boards. However, considering that the corresponding power amplifier and antenna are already fixed within a certain range when the goods are sent out, if the user adjusts the frequency of the transmitter, the corresponding power amplifier, transmitter antenna, and receiver antenna should also be modified to the same frequency, and these users need to be prepared. If not, it will cause the frequency of the wireless video transmitter to be different from the frequency of the antenna, making reception difficult. So please be sure to inform the correct frequency you need before placing an order. If it is for security or confidentiality, you can use the encryption and decryption functions of the transmitter and receiver, which can ensure that your video transmission is private. Question 11. I saw that your model is very similar to my needs, but I need to modify one of the parameters, is that possible? Answer, yes, all our product parameters can be customized according to customers' needs. If you have a special request, please let us know. Question 1 to what should I do if my wireless video receiver shows a weak signal? 1. Change the place of the receiver to avoid potential local interference from strong magnetic environments. 2. Ensure that the antennas on both the transmitter and receiver are vertical. 3. Please raise the antennas of the transmitter and receiver to maintain a certain height difference. 4. Please look around to ensure that there are no obstacles between the transmitter and receiver. 5. Change the orientation of the receiver antenna. 6. If it doesn't work, try moving the receiver to be near the transmitter's position to see if it exceeds the effective wireless transmission distance. 7. Or consider adding a relay of the transmitting between the transmitter and receiver. Question 13. Can I buy modules of the transmitters and amplifiers only? I want to assemble them into my equipment. Answer. We can, of course, supply wireless video transmitter modules and power amplifiers. For the first sample test, I recommend that you purchase the entire set of products because our engineers have optimized the parameters to achieve the best performance. After you have completed your test verification, you can remove the case or heatsink, install it in your device, and constantly adjust the parameters to achieve the best performance. In the future, you will be able to purchase only the modules or accessories that you require. Question 14. In order to support longer distance, can I use 10 watts or 20 watts PA power amplifier? Yes, if you need, we can change 10 watts or 20 watts PA to support longer range. If you still have any question, please feel free to contact us.